at the Renban Clinic in, in Basel. This is a sports clinic where we do 3D motion capture systems analysis. And we did that with B-Boy Tafkid, do some performance analysis with, with elite athletes in, in athletics, in, in bicycle and all that stuff. This is a performance analysis and then we do this motion capture tracking. We did this 3D movement capture analysis to first of all see how somebody who is able to perform the, the movement is doing it to get out some key, some key points of the movement. This is definitely a good way to, to do it in a sustainable manner to teach the children at the, at the movement spot, for instance. Well, basically you do place some reflective markers on the skin and then the body is not represented any longer as, as a body as a whole. So you just see these reflective markers and then you put um, lines in between to get a, a segment out of it and then you see just these lines or these dots moving and you can see however they are placed in the room. And we have an integrated force plate in the floor where we see how much force occurs when you push or where you land or whatever you do on this, on this first plate. So for the air flares, once you have to, to get the speed to be able to perform the movement and then when you have enough speed, it is important that you do a hyperextension of the hip so that you really go in this hyperlordosis that we didn't want in the other move before, but just to extend the hip very strong, push with the shoulder at once so that you're kind of in a, in a bent position when, you, when you're in, in your flight. And especially for the reception, we did see that there are pretty high charges that are applied. I mean, it's almost up to twice the body weight. One other important thing is that you should put your second hand just not turned towards the inside. So you have to put it rather towards the outside and it should be in one line with the other hand so that your center of mass is just in the middle of your both hands. So the next move we analyzed is the head spin. You always have to ask the question, how many charges are applied to, to the spinal cord and to the whole body and to the head. And what we did see with this force plate we have integrated in the floor is that you have up to 1.6 times the body weight that is applied to your, your spinal cord. This charge is the highest in the phase where you get the speed. And then once you are in that spin position, the charges are just one time the body weight, so not dramatic at all. So basically the goal should be that you reach this position where you spin as fast as possible. I mean, it's always interesting to, to see a new sport, to get an insight in it. But especially for breakdancing, it's such a complex thing where not many evidence is available. So it's very new field and it's just, it's just amazing to see what you can get out of such an analyze.